Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for September 15, 2021. If you like support your channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to support us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll stop by looking at the Great, uh, Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we did rally up to above the 100 moving average and then just go and went crashing down. We got to the top of the Bullinger Band and it found a massive amount of resistance there. And at the moment, we're hovering just at the 50 moving average. So at 1380 at this current stage, if we break below the 50 moving average, it is very possible that we'll go all the way down to the 300 moving average, down around 1369. That's where we should find massive amount of support. As you can see, we have been bouncing off the 300 moving average for quite some time. It looks like we are creating a wedge here. At some point, we are going to get into this wedge and then we will break to the upside or to the downside. But at this moment, we're just gonna probably gonna see a lot of choppiness in the next few weeks. If you look at the MACD, it is still bullish, but it is turning around. MACD RSI is bearish, CGI is bullish, and the stochastic is bearish at this point. So momentum is kind of really turning at this point, and if we break below the 50, it is very possible that we'll drop another roughly 0.87% to the downside. So let's look at the Euro Japanese Yen. This has just gone back and forward. And also today we fell quite aggressively after we hit 110, 100, 209. And now we're trading at 100, um, 109, 631. So we are at the bottom of the bullish band. So we may see this basically jump tomorrow. If we continue to drop, then we have the 200 moving average down here. And then we also have the basically the floor in this market, which is 108 which we have tested several times in the past and also found massive amount of support only a few weeks ago. To the upside, we have this support resistance level, which we have tested three times and uh, got very close uh, in the last two, three weeks, but it has been just going back and forward. That was horrible trading this at this at this currency. It needs to basically break above here or break below in order to uh, see where this is going. MACD is becoming bearish, RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and Stochastic is bearish as well. So momentum is definitely to the downside. So let's look at the Euro US dollar. And as you can see, this tried to rally and then gave all of those gains back. Ended up in red. We're only down 0.13 at this point. If we break below the 50 moving average, it is very possible that we'll drop back to 1170. Or if we that breaks to 1160, we are below the middle of the bullish band. So the bottom of the bullish band is just above 1170. So that's basically where we should see this bounce if we fall from here. MACD is bearish, RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is bearish as well. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, we are testing uh, the support level here, which is at 0 0.73. Break below that, then we may go and retest the bottom here. And that breaks, then 0.70 should come into play but this is an area where we found massive amount of support in the past and last time we that's, that broke we dropped significantly to the downside so it's going to be interesting to basically see we have broken uh, beneath the uh, middle of the bullish band so 0 0.70 should be where the bottom of the bullish band is uh, MACD is becoming bearish, just how the crossing here. Uh, RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and Stochastic is bearish as well. So momentum is definitely to the downside at this current stage. So US dollar, a Canadian dollar, this has bounced from the uh, roughly 50 moving average right here, trading at uh, uh, 1269 and above the 300 moving average. We have tested it several times. We got very... Uh, significantly above the 300 moving average recently and then just broke down to the 200 and now we are steadily gone back up so there are several support le resistance levels here this is one of them and then of course this if this basically breaks then we'll see this basically rally significantly to the upside so um, oil is basically also uh, declining today and probably because economic output is not going to be the same as expected. Probably the world economy is slowing and therefore oil and demand will basically decline as well. And that will, of course, will be very positive for this currency pair. If you look at the MACD, it is uh, bullish. 
RSI is bullish, CGI is bullish, Stochastic is uh, still in bullish territory, but it is, uh, it has crossed the signal, so it's bearish. And just we are almost at the top of the bullish band. So there's a little bit of room to the upside before we find resistance. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.